Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, happy to see you here. Uh, first of all, happy Easter. I hope everyone's having a good time. Whoever's celebrating Easter, I hope you're having a good time. And if you're not, I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, yeah, plenty of chocolate and all that stuff. Right, today, I wanna do a video today on top handle saws and the reason for this video is i think if you're new in the industry which i think most people watching this channel probably are um, or you're thinking about coming in and you're not sure what to purchase i want to do a video for, for someone that has no chainsaws has no real experience with which ones to buy so stick around for a few minutes guys if you're thinking about buying a chainsaw this might help you um, yeah, I'll just have a chat about a few different saws and which probably would suit you better based on your position in the industry right now. So stick around. Right guys, so look, you're thinking about buying a saw. Uh, you're not too sure which one to buy. You've come to the right place. I'm gonna try and explain the different differences between them and the capabilities um, and the limitations as well. So without further ado i will start with it doesn't really matter which one i start with but i'm going to start with uh a steel ms200 now experienced guys will know about this saw over here in ireland they do not produce these saws anymore i don't know if they still do in america i think they might do um I'm not sure about that, but I know they don't produce these anymore here. And that was down to the ex the fumes, the, the exhaust. It was, you know, for all this uh, eco stuff, you know? So they got taken off production line and the 201 actually kind of took that one's place. So this is an MS200, very powerful, um, lovely saw, but, um, problems occur quite often and you'd want to love these saws really you'd, you'd want to be in the shed every week cleaning them making sure everything, everything's working so i feel for a beginner i feel this saw for a beginner is a bit temperamental also a bit too powerful as well there's a lot of power in this saw so as a beginner i wouldn't suggest going for this um they're not cheap either. Second hand, they're not cheap. Like over here, you'd be paying four or 500 for a second hand one. Maybe more now, because the market of train saws has gone, gone sky high, it's gone through the roof. So yeah, look, it's a lovely saw. If you have a collection of saws already, climbing saws, then belt away, get one. But uh, if you don't have any saws, I would not suggest getting one of these, because they're going to be second hand, they're going to be used. It's very rare you'll find a brand new one and you will encounter problems and you will have to then maybe wait longer for parts than you would some of the other saws that are high production saws at the moment you know so good saw probably the best one of the best out there if not the best out there for climbing but if it's going to be your only saw i feel you there are better options so that's my opinion on that one i would leave that one well alone um now, this saw I use a lot. It's probably the one I use the most. Still got the tool strap on, so that would tell you that. It's a steel MS151TC. Very light, super light, compared to, you might be able to see the difference in size. There's quite a bit difference in size and a lot of difference in weight. This is, is a brilliant saw. Um, it's not super powerful, um, but it is. It will do most stuff that you do on a daily basis. Now, if you're a beginner, you're not going to be taking down massive trees. I wouldn't imagine anyway um, for a while. So, I would, I would recommend this. I would highly recommend this saw for a beginner because it's light. There's not so much power. There's like crazy. There's not crazy power in it. There's an, there's good power in it, but it's not crazy power. Um, and it's the cheapest steel top handle saw on the market. 
Um, I haven't got one with me, but the Echo, I think it's 2511. I'll put a picture up somewhere now so you can see what that looks like. That is pretty much on par with this saw. You know, there, there's slight differences between the two of them. They're about the same size. I think this one's just a little bit heavier actually, but I've used that one, I had one and loved it. Uh, that, that's a great saw too. So I would put these two kind of on par with each other. And that one is slightly, the Echo is slightly cheaper than this one. Not much, maybe 20, 30 euro. So not much, but this guys, definitely I would recommend if, if you're gonna buy your first climbing saw, you're not gonna be, if you know you're not gonna be doing big takedowns, maybe you're doing utility work, so it's only trimming, this is gonna be perfect, absolutely perfect. Right guys, I've got this saw, the camera went dodgy again, so I've had to re-record this, but um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of this saw, it's a battery saw, it's the biggest still top handle battery saw for climbing. Um, personally, I think it's absolutely not practical for a first climbing saw for a beginner. Uh, and the reasons, I'm gonna scoot through the reasons quick. Battery life, unless you've got two or three batteries, depending on how much work you're doing in the day, the battery ain't gonna last on takedowns. And if you have multiple takedowns in one day, it's not gonna last. Um, and if this is your only saw, then you're gonna be in a spot of bother. Uh, it's heavy, very heavy. Um, the power is good, the power is amazing. It's instant, instantaneous, um, which I do love. Um, but yeah, look, there's no point me really going on about it. If you're a beginner and you have no other climbing saws, do not buy one of these as your first saw. That's my opinion. Unless you have a lot of money behind you and you can afford to buy two or three batteries, they're about four, four or 500 euro a pop. So for one of them, four or 500 euro. And I struggle to get a full day out of a battery. And that's sometimes, I'm, you know, I might only be doing trimming work. Trimming work, you will. Light trimming. Takedowns, I, I don't think you'll get a day. So you need a couple of batteries at least. So you're looking at, if you're buying it in Ireland, say this saw with two batteries, nearly 2,000 euro. So it's very, very expensive. I, I like it personally. Don't like the weight, but I've got used to that. Um, but yeah, not for beginners. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. So forget that one. It's a nice saw, but forget it. Sorry guys, the camera decided to shit itself. So just messed around with it for a minute. So yeah, back to the source. Look, the steel MS-151, I would definitely recommend as a, a good first top handle saw for a beginner tree climber. Um, she's light good power for the size of her and cheap so it's not gonna break the bank and I guess if you're only starting off you're not gonna be flush with cash as most most guys when they first start aren't you know and it's it's an expensive business so you're obviously gonna have to be buying other stuff like harnesses ropes carabiners and none of it's cheap um, so maybe if you're on a budget I would highly recommend that saw highly recommend that saw um yeah basically guys you've got the 201 then as well the 201 is basically the equivalent of this it's the newer model slightly less power slightly lighter in weight it is quite expensive now they've gone up about 150 200 euro average they used to be around 650, 700. I think they've gone up to about eight, 900 now. So they're quite expensive. This one, the last time I looked, you'll get that for around 580, maybe 600. And then if you want to go for the Echo, which is the equivalent of this one, Echo version, that's around 550, 560, something like that. So them ones are definitely cheaper. They're not as all round as a 201. The, the 201 you'll be able to do takedowns you'll be able to do pruning jobs you'll be able to do everything with it um, but the price it might, might be a factor for you but 
guys, there's there's the 151, the Echo 2511. Them two saws, highly recommend. 201, highly recommend. If I was going to pick one out of the ones I've shown you here today and the 201 and the Echo, if you had the money, I'd probably go for the 201 because it's you're going to be able to do bigger jobs with it. Um, if you're a bit rusty at climbing, and this, this does make a big difference, believe me, if you're still a bit rusty at climbing, I might go for the 151 or the Echo 2, 2511 because they're lighter, less power, more manageable if you're still getting used to climbing. You don't want to be up there with a big powerful saw and you're still not used to climbing. Um, I would actually suggest climbing as much as you can with a hand silky until your climbing gets a lot, you know, you feel a lot more safer and confident in your climbing. I'd actually use a hand silky as much as possible. Now I know that's not practical everywhere, but as much as possible, um, just to give you that time to, to be comfortable with your climbing. Uh, guys, look, I hope this video helps you a little bit. Um, if you're deciding to purchase a saw, I'll try and put like some prices up, rough guides of prices of the saws. I'll put up some pictures of the other saws that I haven't shown you. There's also a Husqvarna battery saw, but for this video, I don't think you should go battery. I think you should go petrol. I showed you it because I have it here. Um, the price is mad for that one, and I think the price is crazy as well for the Husqvarna one. Yeah, that's more of a saw if you've already got two or three climbing saws where you might decide, do you know what? I fancy using a battery saw today. But if it runs out of battery, back of the van, grab one of these petrol saws. So look guys, have a good Easter. If you decide to buy a saw, let me know in the comments what one you're gonna go for. And let me know if this helped you. Um, that's what this channel's about. It's about trying to help each other. And yeah, enjoy your Easter. Don't eat too much chocolate. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button.